Hi, my name is Bobby Coffey and I do videos on anything that pertains to a woman in her 50s. Whether that has to do with beauty or taking care of your home, organization, and sometimes just a chit chat. If you haven't subscribed, consider doing that if those are the kind of videos that you'd be interested in watching. So now on to organizing. We all have these piles, these piles that drive us crazy. I have them. They cost us money because we can't find a coupon or a circular that we know has some kind of sale going on. They cost us time because we can't find things that we know we need to have. Sometimes we miss deadlines of parties, RSVPs, and sometimes it costs us money on our taxes, things that we could write off that we can't because we lost that piece of paper. So I'm going to show you a system that makes it very simple for us to organize it and to keep it organized over the long haul. All right, I just picked up that big pile and brought it into my dining room to work at the table. I grabbed some extra files that I had in drawers that look organized. They are not, I assure you. And I realize you guys may have a much, you know, quadruple the amount of this. I totally get that. It doesn't really matter how big your pile is. What matters is the steps that you're gonna to take to get it all organized. And I'm gonna show you the whole thing. So, okay, so once you have your pile all there to, gathered and everything that you wanna get organized, the first thing to do is to get some supplies ready. So I'm gonna show you some easy, you probably have these supplies already in your home, things to help you do this process. The first thing to do is to get some three by five cards. You could get scrap paper, it doesn't matter. I just happen to have these because I have a teenager in high school and we have these in our house constantly. So a three by five card, a pen, I used a red Sharpie just to make it easy, but you could use a regular pen, it does not matter. You're gonna want a stapler, a staple remover, and some sticky notes. That's it to get started. We'll have some more supplies as we go, but this is the basics to get started on the whole sorting process. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is divide out your pile into smaller piles so that you have small victories along the way because sometimes it can seem very daunting with the entire huge pile in front of you. So make some smaller piles. So here's my first one. I have three piles to deal with. I'm gonna look at the first thing on top I have my three by five card, and this is just a card that I would give someday in the future, so I write cards on it. I'm gonna stick this up here and put my first thing right there so that I know where it is. The next thing I see is paychecks. So I write paycheck, very simple. You guys obviously can figure that one out. <laughs> um, so I have my paycheck is right there. The second one would be, um, this is actually part of paycheck, it's my contracts. So I'm gonna put that underneath it. The next thing I see is my checking account. So I'm gonna just say checking. All right, so you guys get the idea. You just keep going through your pile. I have a bunch of these, I don't know if they're in order, but I do have them. I'm gonna just keep putting these together, putting them in piles until all of my piles are divided out. So a couple things. Sometimes you're gonna come across a, like a user guide. We bought a fire pit for our new patio and we have the care guide or whatever that I wanna keep. I also have the receipt of where we bought it. So what I like to do to make life easier is to take this and staple this so it doesn't get lost onto the care guide. Then I'll just fold it up underneath it so that it's not too long. And then we have, I don't keep this in my pile that's easily accessible because we're not gonna go to this very often. I actually have a filing system down in my basement just for these kind of things that are just thrown in there because we don't access them very often. So. This I'm just gonna put to the side to make it so that I have it eased later. Okay, so I thought of a couple more things that you're gonna wanna have on hand as I was going through my pile. 
when you guys come in the front door and you've got your pile of papers or uh, you know papers in your hand that you want to get rid of and you're not necessarily going through it immediately obviously you're pu putting it on this big pile you are not opening your envelopes so you're going to want an envelope opener i don't have an official one or letter opener i use a butter knife so it works fine you're going to have, want to have a recycling bin next to your table or wherever it is you're working so that you can just put your stuff in the recycling bin. And you're also, if you have it, going to want a shredder because you're going to want to throw away, you're going to want to shred anything that has personal information on it. Okay, guys, as you're going through your piles, you're going to come across some things that you're going to want to cut out, like coupons and things. So you're going to want to have a pair of scissors. And I know I'm kind of piecemealing these supplies, no worries. I'm going to make a whole list below of all the supplies you need so you don't have to remember this as you're going along in, these, in this video. Another reason, another thing I wanted to show you is why it's so important to have these things organized. I came across the CVS Extra Bucks coupons, Extra Bucks? Yeah, Extra Bucks, $8 worth, and they expired last week. So very frustrating. I absolutely could have used these. I should clip them out as soon as I can and put them in my purse. And one of the things that I do when I think of doing this is I will actually put on my calendar the expiration date of when that is. So when I go to CVS, I will have that reminder knowing I need to go, I need to use my coupon that is there. So very frustrating, but hopefully after I get organized, this will get better. Okay, some things to consider as you're going through your piles. First of all, do not feel that you need to organize your piles as you're putting them together. That will slow you down drastically. You just need to divide into smaller piles into your categories. We will tackle dividing out as we go, but just get them into the smaller categories and then we will start organizing them. After you have them into your small piles, now is the time that you may wanna start going through and organizing each pile. It depends on how much time you have and where this is. If this is in a place where you can't leave it up all the time, then you may wanna put them in something and go through each pile as you have time. If this is a place that you can leave it out, like I'm in my dining room, we don't use our dining room constantly and it's okay if it stays out for a period of time. It depends on how it is in your home, if you can leave it out or not. If you can't leave it out and you need to put it away, I would recommend putting it in some kind of separated things, whether it is file folders or um, box, a different box. It depends on how much you have, a different box for each pile. I don't know what it is that you have, but some way to divide them so they don't get all grouped into one big pile again because you'll just have... A mess on your hands again and you may not tackle it so the best case is to leave it out and so you don't have to go through the piles all over again okay so now I have everything in piles and I have them all organized I already know what piles I want and what categories I want you may find that you eliminate some categories as you start organizing them. They may, you may find that you don't need that category anymore. So don't start writing on file folders and things like that till you've gone through the piles and decided that you definitely need that category. Once you've decided that you need that category, you're going to know how big of a, an organizational system you're going to need. So what I did is I went and found this. This is from Target. I just thought it was so cute and I wanted something portable. So this has, it just has all these dividers in it and way more than I need, which is good. I wanted to have not huge amount that I need, but I definitely need space to grow. You don't want to have a system that's completely full the minute you filled it all. And then what's going to happen is you're just going to create more piles. So a nice system to organize it is good. And it could be a drawer, it could be whatever. Look at your home and decide. I just wanted to make sure I had something portable. And I got this at Target. I don't remember how much it is, but if I can find it on Target.com, I will link it below. I also got file folders and I just thought these were cute. 
again from Target. Um, they looked, they were in a, a collection of, how many are in here? Six, six of them. And again, I will link these below. They kind of look like um, ticking, fabric ticking. So I just thought they were cute and the blue went with the marble of my file cabinet, if you will, file, I don't know what this is called, it doesn't matter. So now I'm gonna go through, once I, ha I have everything organized, I went through each pile to decide that I truly want that. Now I'm going to divide them out and put them in my, oh, what's it called? Is there a name for it? There's no, not one bit of writing, which I actually like. The next step is for me to write down my categories on my file folders and then to write down that category in my dividers here. While I'm going through my receipts, one of the things that is handy is to have a sticky note, a sticky pad next to you and a pen. And when I come across a receipt where I've purchased something that I may want to return sometime, something that's more expensive and it's hard to read the receipt, sometimes they say weird things or I just want to know what receipt it is quickly without having to read all this tiny little small print. So what I'll do is I'll write down what it is on my sticky note and I stick it to my receipt and that way I can read it real quickly. Maybe it was um, a headset or electronics or something. Then I put it in my receipts and I can easily find it without having to read a receipt thing that's so hard to read. So now this area is nice and organized. I have my inbox. I got an inbox so when I come in in the you know in the afternoon after work and stuff I've got the mail. I can just put everything in there and it'll look nice till I'm ready to go through it. I have my portable filing system that makes it easy and it's cute. I think that if you have something that looks as my daughter would say aesthetically pleasing you'll be more apt to use it because it's cute. Look at all the fun places you can now take your portable system. Any place you want to go, you can do your paperwork. Oh, the fun won't stop. Okay, before I close out this video, I think that you guys may be wondering where my husband's stuff in all this is. I do have a husband and he does live with us and his stuff is in, we have a big family drawer full of files and stuff like that with all our financial information. I have my own credit card that obviously he is allowed to use and everything. It's a joint account, except I'm the one who manages it because I started it when I had a home-based business and I just continued it. So I don't want you all to think that I have this whole separate thing and my husband's not part of our lives. He is. That's it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to share it with someone who might be organizationally challenged. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing that. All right, I'll see you next video. Secondly, I forgot what secondly was. My name is Bobby Copy, and I would love to... Oh, what was it? <laughs> <clears throat> and no also, not also.